hello guys today we are going to learn on how to design a cleaning service flyer already i have already put in place what i'm going to use in this tutorial already i will put uh, the files and the typing test in the description for you guys if you want to use so now what we are going to use is A4. Then I'm going to select my rectangle, choose then draw the line. So now that I draw the line, what I will do now is to pick another rectangle like this. It's okay okay then i'm going to use my shape tools and convert it to curve then i'm going to drag this one down like this we drag this one down like this i'll take this up a little uh -huh. it's okay then i'll click here like this To apply the dot I'll delete this then I'm going to bring another rectangle from this place like this then convert it to curve then now what I'm doing is to take this one up like this then I'm going to use my arrow key to bring this one down like this then I will bring this one also close to this place use my arrow key then now what I'm going to do then I will delete this one I'm going to delete that one I will also select somewhere here then select somewhere here I'll delete this one then I will bring this one like this so that it will be in line with this up one then I'll click outside. Now, the next thing to do, I'm going to pick my pen tool. Then, I'm going to click around here. Then, I will bring it down here. Then, take it up. Then, click here. Now I'm going to select my pictures. Like this. Now I'm going to make sure that they are very close. Then use my arrow key to, to move this side up. It's okay. Then what to do next? Now, the next things I would like to do here, then, is to apply color. Then, I'm going to apply this color here. Then, remove the outline color. Then, in this one, I'm going to power clip a picture. Now, Ctrl I. Then to import, or you click here, you will see import. Then I'm going to desktop where I save my this thing, my materials. Then to use. Now these are the material I'm going to use. These are the picture. Then this picture now, I'm going to power clip this one to the up one 
right click you see power clip then you click on this then click on edit edit here you can also right click and select click on edit now i'm going to bring this one close because i want the two pictures to appear like this then right click finish editing something like this now i would like the picture of the man to come out boldly so what i'm going to do now is to click on edit then bring the picture of the man out like this then finish the editing okay then in this one i'm going to change it so that this picture will face like this then i'm going to power clip it in this one then right click click on edit then increase it a bit it's okay I want the picture, I want the image, the face to show well. So in this case now, then I'm going to fill up this line up here. And what I'm going to do in that place, I'm going to select a right angle, then pick an area like this. So I'm going to select that area like this. Then I'm going to click on the image. Then I will select the intersect. Now I have this one. I will rotate it. Perfect. Then I'll bring this one up there to cover it up there. Then increase it. So that it will match now i will delete this one then right click finish editing you see how it comes now i'm going to select the bow tool then remove the outline color like this then the next thing to do is to select all the picture then right click, then and power clip inside the image. Then now what I'm going to do now is to bring my logo up here. See, something like this. Now the next thing is, is to begin to arrange my test like this. Then why the test is not showing because the background is white. Now I'm going to speak my background color. Then I'll bring out the test outside. Now the test is now showing. Then this one, I'll position it here, like this. And I want to apply a deep black color on that test. Then on this one, I'm going to apply another shape another color um, rectangle here like this and I'm going to select this color of yellow then I'm going to my color eyedropper pick tools then I'll select the color then click on it 
then remove the outline then I'm going to right click then power clip inside then I will also right click go to edit power clip then right click again go to order then send it back you can also press ctrl page down so that this color the, the shape you created can move back like this now i'm going to remove my outline color in this background so like this you have designed a simple flyer so thank you very much uh, i would like also that you comment share and please don't forget to subscribe make a comment if there is any area of mistake tell me that will also improve my ability thank you very much for watching this tutorial god bless you so much i love you all thank you